Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a U.S. News Flash Update. Today's date, May 28, 2024, time about 9 a.m. in Texas. What we'll be talking about is a U.S. above-ground nuke test that uh, very likely happened the night of the G5 storm, 510. So let's get started. Uh, Larry Taylor of Best and Taylor had a dream during the month of May. He entitled The Neutron Bomb. And it was he, uh, in his dream, and uh, I interpreted it to mean he was uh, with a soldier and he was mind-melted. That means your mind projects to the other individual's mind. You see through their eyes. You know what they're thinking or what their emotions are. And he was with this soldier in U.S. city suburbs in a house, and they were near a freeway. And uh, there was a, a nuke-type uh, drill going on that during the course of the drill actually went live. And... He was given a device about the size of an old Hoover vacuum cleaner that had buttons on it. And red was to start and green was to stop. Now, to me, these um, button uh, uh, start and stop, to me, add validity to the dream because the deep state does everything in a certain way and the information we receive is backwards so for us a red button would be to stop and a green button to start but in larry taylor's dream it was more aligned with the way the deep state does things red button start green button stop and it was a portable neutron bomb. And uh, uh, neutron bombs kill organic uh, beings, humans, animals, plants. But they don't uh, disturb inorganic matter like concrete freeways or houses and so on. And during the course of the uh, drill near the freeway, the drill actually went live and the soldier was told to press the red button to start. And he did that. And then he was told press the green button to stop. And he did that, but it did not stop. The count went on. And the soldier's last thought was, we've been sabotaged by all those millions of illegals coming into our nation. And so that was the dream. Now we come to find out that uh, the National Nuclear Security uh, Administration, NNSA, came out uh, publicly in a publication dated May 16, and said on May 14, they did an underground nuclear test of a small amount of nuclear material. Other sources are saying that no, it was actually an above ground test that took place the night of the G5 geomagnetic storm. And it was purposely done then as a cover for the new test. Now, it was the NNSA at their Pulse facility located near Mercury, Nevada, that the nuke rocket was actually detonated. And they did this in collaboration with their labs, Lawrence Livermore, located near Livermore, California, and Los Alamos National Lab, located near Santa Fe, New Mexico. The job of the two labs was to project polarizing light around the rocket 
so that the mushroom cloud could not be seen. The polarizing light uh, deflects and reflects light in a different way. And so the night of May 10, NNSA detonated a nuclear bomb. It was supposed to be a uh, four megaton, but because, and I believe it was, it's because of certain things happening in space, it irrationally and unplanned went to 16 megatons, and this equals 0 0.008 kilotons. So I'll draw another map. So I'll go over this. On May 10, above ground, the U.S. government detonated a nuke. They thought it was going to be a four megaton. I submit because of space events, it was activated to 16 megatons. And the fourth stage was cobalt. Cobalt also could have uh, caused the unusual increase in nuclear material. Now, the cobalt for the rads that were generated, a rad is a measure of radiation. Anything above 70 plus uh, is a detriment to human health. Chernobyl, that was the meltdown of a nuclear power plant in 1986 in Ukraine, released 15,000 rads. This U.S. experiment on May 10 uh, released 150,000 rads. And that correlates to the inclusion of the cobalt in the bomb. And now I'll draw another map. So I worked this out. Uh, if we had this going on, what would that look like? A 0 0.008 megaton. I use Alex Willerstein's nuke map. If we had this amount of nuke detonate in Houston, Texas, we would have instantly 10,000 plus vaporized, 100,000 plus uh, also dying within weeks or months, and radiation extending out about 300 to 400 miles. And this is based on this um, nuke that was tested May 10 in Nevada. And now we have this. So they had the rocket and they released 150,000 rads. Now Dr. William Mount says electricity uh, takes down the radiation. It neutralizes it. And I noticed that space weather came out um, just this weekend talking about that May 10 to 11 G5, how it released a tremendous amount of electricity that passed through the atmosphere, the soil, and the rocks. And I submit Space Weather, also a government site, put that information out this weekend after the release of the information about the new test uh, like last Thursday. So that's going on. And now we have this. We have that, yeah, we had a mushroom cloud, a radioactive cloud. Now the Chernobyl event went around the earth two to three times. Experts in the nuclear field believe that this U.S. nuke test on May 10, so May 10 test, will circle earth five to six times. Now, 
we do have a uh, space events coming up on the horizon that i believe will also minimize this so we had this test in the u.s on may 10. we had the g5 geomagnetic storm that released tremendous amounts of electricity that would have neutralized the nuclear material and now we have it going around the earth five to six times today is may 28 and we have the sun now circling we had that strong 3664 sunspot that caused the G5. Now coming around, we have a second sunspot field as large as the 3664. I think this one's 3691. That's predicted this week to give us i'm predicting something like a g5 to g6 when this happens we will have enough electromagnetic energy to then neutralize the nuclear radiation that's currently circling the earth so this concludes my flash and i will ask you have you heard the song going by the book by Johnny Cash. I love you and I'll see you soon.